Hello, it's the Nor guy. I did a video before about connecting your Nortel Business Communication Manager, or also called the BCM, um, connecting that to your network or connecting the computer to the BCM so that you could manage it. And we got as far as connecting to the uh, maintenance port and downloading the software, and then I ran out of time. So now I'm going to pick up where I left off. And what we're going to do is, if you haven't seen the previous video, go watch that one first, because what I'm doing now won't make any sense. Um, that first video is called, um, I think it's called Connecting Your Computer to uh, to BCM. Okay, um, let me drag this over here where you can see it. It won't stay. Okay, real good. Um, let's do this. We'll drag the screen. Over. I'll just launch the Business Element Communications Manager um, installation file, the one we downloaded um, in our previous um, video. Okay, it wants to run it. I'm going to run it. I'm using I'm using Windows XP, by the way, in case anybody's wondering. Depending on what you're running, you might get slightly different messages. Um, but uh, I think the Business Element Communication Manager uh, software will run on XP. I don't know if it runs on 2000 or not. Um, it should run on Vista. It should probably also run on Microsoft 7. Okay, so we're unpacking this. I'm going to pause for a second until it's ready to go to the next step. Okay, so um, the installer uh, file unpacked itself and launched and now we've got these little screens right here that you see in front of us. Um, little introduction screen, click next. Um, I need you to read this entire legalese paragraph and then click I accept. I'm just kidding, um, but you do have to accept it and click next. Okay, choose a location, the default to see program files. Um, you could install it on D or E or wherever you keep your program files. Next. All right, and let's see. Um, where do you want your icons? Do you want a program group, desktop, etc.? Um, I like mine just on my desktop. Okay, here's the summary uh, before we kick off the installation. Install. Tell you what, I'm going to pause while this finishes. Okay, we're back. Uh, the installation finished. This is the install complete screen, and there's two check boxes here. One is giving me the option to launch the element manager as soon as I click the done button, and the other one is offering to let me see the view readme.txt file. I think I'm going to skip um, reading that and click done. Now it should launch the management software and here it comes and there's the annoying little noise I don't know if you heard that or not noise like a logo noise that it makes when it starts up okay let's get this where you can see it alright so here we are now, at this point, you still should be connected to that uh, special port um, on the back of the BCM with a computer, and you should still have the 10.1.11. whatever that address was. You should still have that special address. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make a new connection. All right, so I want you to come up here to where it says Network, and you want um, New Network Element and you want Business Communications Manager. All right, in here you're going to put in that address we used before. Um, I can't remember what that was. 10.10.11.1 .10 or something like that. And your um, user ID is still going to be the NN admin, and the password is going to be um, uh, 
if it hasn't been changed, it's going to be uh, please change me. That's capital P L S capital C H G capital M lowercase e and an exclamation point. Now I'm not plugged into this special port, and I have changed my password, so I need to enter some different information to get in there. This is not what you're going to put in. This is just something I'm doing just for my machine, so I can illustrate my point here. Okay, so I've created a new connection, and yours should say the special address here, 10.10 whatever, and if you click on that, it will show you the login screen. This should already be pre-populated with that login and password you just put in there before, and I want to connect. And connecting can take a minute or two. Okay, now eventually this type of computer plugged directly into the BCM. Oh, we're trying to get this onto the network. That was kind of the whole idea here. And I, again, as I said in the previous video, I recommend you watch this with your... Um, oh, I just exited out of there. That was not good. I recommend you watch this with your, um, with your network administrator because a lot of the stuff I'm showing will make more sense to that person if it doesn't make sense to you. Okay, and connect. You shouldn't have to not watching what I was doing. All right, I meant to say okay. All right, so here we are. Now, where you want to establish um, an IP address for you to connect this to your network is you come here under the word system, and we're going to expand the system category, and then you want to go to IP subsystem, and then in here is where we put in the IP and mask and gateway just as we would if we were adding a computer to the network. Um, I don't recommend, you know, obtain I, uh, IP address dynamically, which is also known as DHCP. I prefer to um, put in the address static, and the reason I do that is because then I don't have to have name resolution. And also down here you can specify DNS information. All right, so this stuff needs to be filled out. Now when this is done and you save it and then you reboot the phone system, um, the actually I don't even know if you have to reboot, um, but if it doesn't take, you might need to. But then this information is what you can use from any other computer on your LAN to connect to and to download that special software that we just installed, the uh, the management software, and um, manage the system. Um, and all these menus in here are different things about the BCM that you can manage. Phone sets, um, uh, things about lines, uh, feature settings, and um, we're going to get into that at some other point, but right now just just focusing on getting your BCM phone system connected to your network. Okay, so make those changes, and I think they save automatically, if I'm not mistaken. When you're ready to be done, just click Disconnect. Okay, so now you should be able to go and access that address that you put in um, over the network. And if you can't, come back and repeat the steps up to that point again and see maybe if it didn't save. Um, also, if it's there but it's not working, you might try rebooting the the uh, the BCM um, I recommend you do that after hours because that basically shuts off your phone system and stops all phone traffic okay until next time bye